What is up guys? How are you all doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And we're gonna have here a little quick little video where I'll talk about one thing, one thing only. And that is Battlefield 4 DLC. As you guys know, recently there has been some footage and some information released into the public domain in regards to the Dragon's Teeth DLC. And specifically the new weapons and gadgets and things that will be implemented into the game because of this or as a result of this DLC. Now the way I would summarize it and just the two things I would say about this DLC in general after watching all the footage and listening to all the news and reading all the information. Firstly it would be, what the fuck? And secondly it would be, okay. Because that, that pretty much sums up the DLC. It's, it's, I don't know, it's very weird, it's very different. Firstly, the what the fuck moment would be Riot Shield. Now the rumors were flying about, they were knocking around or knocking about, about a month ago, I want to say a good month ago. So we kind of had an idea that it would be in the game, but I never really took it seriously. I thought that they were just... You know, we were just being trolled. I don't know, DICE and EA, they just love trolling the community and like the people who buy and play their games. So I just thought it was one of the one of these hoax things, right? It was like a joke, a big practical joke. And then we we'll watched the footage and there is an actual riot shield in there, which is, first of all, it doesn't even work. It's ridiculous, but then again, they might change it or make it work in a different way. But the thing is about that, it doesn't even work. I'll link the video I watched in the description. I believe it was from Jack Frags or someone. I can't remember. Someone big in the Battlefield community. Basically, they were kind of testing out the riot shield, kind of just like hit people with it, you know, like push them forward with the riot shield. And the character in the video did that and did that to a tank. And the, you know the little glass bit that you look through on a riot shield to see where you're going and what you're doing? It shattered. And to me, I'm just, that, that, first of all, if it's bulletproof and explosion proof, it shouldn't shatter or break. Because that's the whole point. That's why it's bulletproof. That's the whole point of a riot shield. But it breaks when you hit a tank, which suggests to me that it isn't bulletproof, which suggests to me that it also isn't explosion proof. So it's like, if you shoot at it or like someone with a riot shield in the game, or you throw a grenade or something, it's going to cause damage and it's going to go through that little kind of glass section or whatever and it's just totally weird I don't know how they're gonna make it work I don't know I just don't get it really it looks broken it looks like it doesn't really have a place in the game and it's just gonna ruin the momentum or flow of the game it could make for interesting kind of fun matches where you kind of set up a private server or like a specific server where everyone has to use riot shields no grenades no guns no weapons of any kind just riot shields running about because you imagine like 32 versus 32 just riot shields that would be crazy but the thing is when you try to put that into a normal match it just i just i don't know how it's gonna work it might work i mean i hope it does i don't want to see the game fail obviously even though it has been <laughs> but um I, I i'm all in favor of putting in new things to change the game up that's not a problem for me however i just don't know how it's gonna work or if it's gonna work at all so that's just one of the things the other what the fuck moment was the EOD bots Mark II, you know, like the second version of it with like an added machine gun, a freaking LMG and the rocket launcher or like a grenade launcher on, on one on one entity, one machine, which is crazy. It's basically like a little tank. That's what it is. Imagine the EOD bot or whatever it's called, the Wally looking thing. It's like driving about in the middle of the battlefield, just bullets and explosion going off all over the place. And it's got and it's firing this LMG and the grenade launcher and it's just like it's like a mini tank. It's just like I don't know. Uh, to me, if they're gonna put stuff like this into the game, they need to add like an EMP grenade, in my opinion, just so that you can knock out electrical stuff like the uh, claymores and the EOD bots and that freaking monster of a tank thing, uh, and you know other stuff like that. It should knock out people's electronics and like the radars and you know the the, the scanners, all those things. I, I think they need to add a EMP grenade to counter it. However, obviously, I don't know if they will, but that's just an idea, that's just my idea. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Do you think an EMP grenade would work? Um, obviously, you don't need to make it OP where it would just work like Black Ops 2, where you would throw it and it would go through walls and stuff. No, that's, that's a bit too much. But, you know, if you throw it into a room, it just knocks out the stuff in the room or whatever. Or in like a little blast radius, like a grenade radius. That could work, I don't know. That might balance things up a bit, maybe. But anyways, in regards to the actual weapons itself, they have the Deagle and a Python, like a new modern day Python type, you know, revolver. And it looks amazing. I mean, the Deagle looks a bit too big and a bit too brash and bold or like a bit fake, really. But the Python, I forget the name of it, uh, looks amazing. It's like the MP Rex or whatever, uh, a cross between the MP Rex and the, uh, is it called Magnum or whatever? It's like a hybrid between those two, but it has a higher fire rate, 
which is brilliant. It looks amazing. I cannot wait to use that weapon in game. It looks it looks absolutely amazing. And the other weapons look pretty good. The SMG and the AR, I forget the name of them, look all right. Nothing major, but they they look all right. They look like they're gonna change things up a bit. So I'm looking forward to using those. But other than that, pretty, that's pretty much it. We don't I don't know what the maps are gonna be like. Hopefully they'll be good. The naval strike maps were actually pretty darn awesome. Not gonna lie. I mean, just the visuals alone were amazing. But the flow of the game on those maps and the maps themselves, the way they were laid out and things like the two big characters and stuff like the carry assaults and that's a, such a brilliant idea for a new game mode and stuff so hopefully they'll add another new game mode specific to the dragon dlc maps and yeah just stuff like that really let me know what you think do you like the idea of these new guns and these new gadgets and these new things in the game or would you agree with the emp comment about adding an emp grenade into battlefield but whatever you know just let me know what you think you could agree or disagree that's fine you can leave a like or a dislike again that's totally fine it's up to you and yeah just let me know what you think and that's pretty much it Thank you all for tuning in. Sniper Force and War, and I'm out. I'll see you all the